My name is Aramid Amos, a student of Sorote Senior Secondary School, live in Emoria TV. We are here in Sofli Hotel under the Bible Society of Uganda, which has brought us today to discuss about the meeting. The theme today is this, the Bible. My name is Apia Justin, a student from Bethany Girls Comprehensive Secondary School. I'm in Senior 2 class and at school I serve as a timekeeper prefect, then vice secretary of scripture in Joining a Bible Society club is a very good thing that I've been dreaming of. You know, every life needs a coach. So, this Bible Society is coaching me. Well, the Bible, the Bible Society in Uganda deals with Bible translation, Bible publishing, Bible distribution, and Bible engagement. The club is all about distributing Bibles, translating, engagement, and publishing. Uh, the advantages of the Bible Society of Uganda to me as a student that inspires me and also other students to be godly, actually, to be godly motivates me to get encouraged in the Bible, helps me to get my other friends also. The advantages of this club to me as a student inspires me to a journey of greatness and also it motivates me, it encourages me to join God's Word, to get involved in the Bible and also to invite other friends, the young, the old, and many others. Hello, my name is Sylvia Atim. I am the branch administrator of the Bible Search of Uganda Teso branch. This afternoon, I am glad to bring to your attention that there is a new project we have on board that is good for young people called the Young Samaritan. And today we launched this project in Soroti to be able to reach out to schools and uh, to youth at church. All we are after is to engage the youth with the Word of God and to direct them to lead them. The youth today need mentors. They need uh, to guide them on how to make uh, decisions. And as Bible Society, we have a vision to have a people fully qualified and equipped by the Word of God to do every kind of deed. And such projects are going to help us roll down and help even up to the grassroots. There are many uh, girls out there, boys out there, they are looking out. Who can talk to me? Who can listen to me? Is there anybody who is going through the similar situation I am going? Is there hope for me? And we are saying that the Young Samaritan is hope for tomorrow for the youth of this nation. And specifically for this region, we are very happy for Bible Society to roll down this project to make sure that we reach out to youth of all categories. And we believe that there will be an impact to the society, there will be an impact. Many times I've moved out to places and uh, the question today is how do we reach out to youth? How do we bring back the youth? The youth are gone away. The youth how do we engage the youth? How do we interact with the youth? But this project that we brought is going to help us share with the youth various aspects of life and be able to en engage with them practically. You know, many times uh, we like to speak theory to the youth, uh, don't do this, the other, but there is more of, we want to see how do I do? I, I meet gentlemen and they keep telling me, Sylvia, they tell us be a gentleman, but nobody shows us how to be a gentleman. Nobody tells us how to be a gentleman. All the world is expecting is for us to be gentlemen. But how do we do it if nobody shows us turn left, turn uh, right, walk here and you end this road. And this book is there to guide them the road to their journey. Thank you so much. I believe that with God being our help, we will reach out to this generation. 
thank you. Uh, and thank you TV for covering uh, this project and uh, all the viewers, thank you for watching that movie. Hello listeners, my name is Okiria Matinobore. Presently I'm the director of the Girls Senior Secondary School. But I also want to say that I have a background of being a head teacher. I was a head teacher, more a high head teacher, so I retired from. But also, I was a national chairperson of the Association of Secondary School Head Teachers of Uganda. Today, I'm very pleased to say that I thank the Young Samaritan Project for inviting me to be a part of their launch in Sarati. What have I noted? What should I say about this project? That this, I am very happy, is going to be another pleasing intervention for young people. Today, young people are obsessed with a lot of social media messages. Young people are under threat. They are living under a polluted atmosphere with a little capacity of families and a the communities to impact on their lives positively. There is a lot of there are a lot of negative messages that seem to be very attractive to you. Things like drugs, things like alcoholism, things like violence, things like hooliganism that the children are learning from all walks of life. Even at schools, even schools today, ladies and gentlemen are less empowered because even the teachers need certain amount of information and knowledge to be able to impact on their students. Otherwise, you may find that they go most, more to academic uh, orientation and leave out the character and moral development. I am happy about the Good Samaritan project. What is it going to do? It is going to bring in the aspect of moral uprightness among the youth. It is going to fill the gap that should have been filled by our grandparents, by our families that used to exist before because people would sit around the campfire, the elders would teach the children. Today, that arrangement, that opportunity no longer exists. What is the Young Samaritan Project talking about? It is going to teach children about the character of generosity about a character of Ilepi. It's going to teach children about how to earn blessings. You know, I must emphasize here that you see sometimes, every time you do a wrong thing and people are talking against you, you're also getting curses. But every time you do a good thing and people are talking good about you, I also believe that you begin to get blessings from people, from elders, and from God himself. This it's going to be a turnaround project. The Young Samaritan is a turnaround project because it's going to supplement the lower secondary curriculum that has been introduced by NCDC in the schools. What are we talking about? We are talking about life skills that are necessary for children when they are developing into the adult. We are talking about making choices. We are, Good Samaritan is talking about making choices. Good Samaritan is talking about being teaching about skills of being disciplined. It's talking about uh, conflict resolution. It's talking about solo problem, solo problem, solo problem, problem solving. It is talking about critical thinking. And it is talking about creative thinking and innovative thinking. When all this is absent, what happens to the character of the person? The person will resort to shortcuts. I am happy about the young Samaritan because it's going to discourage shortcuts in life and shortcuts in life normally are very dangerous. What makes me more happy is that uh, the young Samaritan project is incorporating the Bibin Color Teacher. It is working in partnership with the Bible of Society. And I want to say, that the Bible teaching is one of the best 
for anybody who wants to walk upright life in this country. I am also happy that it involves a lot of role plays that really will impact people who see that it touches their feelings. I am also happy about the videos that have been developed by the young Samaritan that really teach about the daily life, the impact of negative behavior on one's life and impact of the positive behavior of one's life and the type of company that we should be choosing. I think these are very important, very, very important, especially when teaching the students, even at school. It, it teaches, it will teach both, it teaches, it will touch both the teachers that interact with the students, it will touch the counselors and it touches the student leaders. I am also happy about the Young Samaritan project because it is also trying to incorporate the aspects of leadership. For anybody to grow upright, you must have principles. I am happy that he's talking about the principle of choice making. I'm happy that he's talking about the principle of self-control. I am happy that the Good Samaritan is also talking about the principle of work. In, in what they are talking about, they are talking about sleep, the principle of work. I am very happy that he's talking about uh, idleness versus productive work. I want to thank the Emuria TV that has partnered with the Bible Society and this Samar Young Samaritan Project. It is really a journey, my journey in life. I am very, very happy that I, I invite a lot of especially school administrators, both at primary level, secondary level, and even at tertiary level, to help students walk down a decent life. One, two, three, we go. We have big, big questions today in schools, and especially to the administrators. How do you reduce strikes in schools? How do you reduce bullying in schools? How do you reduce negative behavior in schools? How do you reduce things like escaping in schools? How do you reduce things like disobedience in schools? I am very happy, and that's why I'm inviting my colleagues to embrace the Young Samaritan Project. After all, when you look at it, it is also non-denominational. This is very, very important.